In this video, I want to look at some trig applications and specifically two terms that are very, very important. I don't think they're very difficult to use, but you need to know what they are. Uh, the terms are angle of elevation and angle of depression, okay? I think we've actually seen angle of elevation already, although I don't think I actually use the term. Um, if you think about going on an elevator, you're going up somewhere. The angle of elevation is the angle that you look up at something, okay? So if you remember, we did the problem where my dad was uh, doing some measuring of a tree. And if you remember, he was on the ground and he looked up at the tree. So, you know, basically if he was staring at the tree, he'd be looking this way. He tilts his head this way upwards. This is the angle of elevation, okay? It's the angle that you look up at the top of something. Okay, so you're going to see some questions where they give you an angle of elevation. It's very often going to be, you know, somebody's tilting their head up to look at a plane or a tower or, or something like that, okay? And it's just the angle uh, at the base of the shape creating your right triangle, okay? There's a second definition, and I think the second definition can be a little bit more challenging for people. It is called the angle of depression. And it's a little bit tougher to apply, okay? Um, it's, it's related to the angle of elevation, but it's not the same thing, okay? So here's the deal with the angle of depression. For an angle of depression problem, you're going to be looking, you're going to be above something, and you're going to be looking down at something. A depression is something that goes downward, okay? So your typical type of problem is going to be something like, you know, maybe somebody's standing on a cliff, okay? And, uh, Watch where their head level is. Sometimes they'll, they'll give you the height of the cliff and the person's six feet tall and you have to add that on. Uh, sometimes you just kind of assume that measurements are being made uh, from the top of whatever it is. Uh, but let's say that we're on a 500 foot cliff, okay? And uh, there's, there's an ocean or something down here. And um, let's say that there is some kind of boat out here, okay? And we would like to find out how far away that boat is, okay? Maybe it's, you know, because we're getting attacked by pirates all the time. You know, maybe it's a pirate ship, and you need to figure out how close to the shore it is. Uh, do you have, you know, is, is it in range? Can it hit you with a cannon? That sort of thing, all right? So for angle of depression, let's say that I tell you that there is a 20 degree angle of depression between you and the pirate ship, okay? Here's what the angle of depression means. You are looking down at the pirate ship. And again, we're assuming that your head level is 500 feet above the ground. Uh, I'm not gonna factor the person's height in here. Um, I should probably show it being measured from the edge of the cliff instead. But anyway, we're just gonna say the measurement is 500 feet above water level, okay? And there's a 20 degree angle of depression. Now, here's the mistake that people make. People say, oh, it's the angle down to the pirate ship. That's 20 degrees, okay? That is not the angle of depression, okay? The angle of depression is the angle, think about how you're normally looking. You are normally looking out straight outwards, okay? You would normally be looking out like this, okay? The angle of depression is the angle that your head would move down through to look at something below you. Okay, so if you're looking like this, your head rotates 20 degrees down. This upper angle here is your 20 degree angle. And people very often don't see this because when you're on the ground, we see the ground there and it's easy to see the angle of elevation. Unless you draw that sight line in there, you're not even gonna visualize that angle. So it's the top angle, okay? So we've actually got a 20 up here. This is a right angle, right? So we've got a 20 up here, this would be a 70. It's not drawn to scale in any sense. Um, so, you know, if you wanted to fill in a 70 there, you, you could as well. Um, anyway, so you can be asked different things. You could ask, how far is the guy from the ship? And uh, in that case, you'd be finding this length right here. You could also be asked, how far is the ship from the edge of the cliff? And, and uh, you know, maybe in that case, we're finding this length right here, okay? The big thing is, like usual, a right triangle is getting made. And there are actually two right triangles that are being made. Uh, you've got a right triangle that is here, you can also make a right triangle like this, uh, kind of an upper right triangle. It's got a 20 degree angle and it's got a height here that would match up with your height over here. Um, you can use either one of those triangles to solve these problems, okay? Now, here's the other thing. 
you can find the angle of elevation from the pirate ship up to the person on the cliff, okay? If you're down here in the pirate ship, you would angle your hand up like this to look at the person on the cliff, okay? Notice something. The water is horizontal. Your sight line is horizontal. We have a pair of alternate interior angles here, okay? Notice something. This 20 degree angle is the same as that 20 degree angle there. The pirates are looking up at the same angle at you as you are looking down at them, okay? The angle of elevation and the angle of depression will be equal in most of these problems. I'm sure somebody can come up with some weird scenario, but in general, they're going to be equal. So be careful there, you can use either one. All right, so uh, to solve this particular problem, uh, we've got a right triangle here, uh, we've got a side length of 500, we've got a side length of X, we've got a 20 degree angle. Um, if you wanted to use this upper triangle, you could use this angle here. Uh, if this side over here is 500, this side over here would also be 500, you can make a right triangle there. Lots of different possibilities. Um, anyway, in this particular case, I have an opposite side and I have an adjacent side, okay? So this is going to be a tangent of 20 degrees, assuming we're using that angle, uh, is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. It's going to be 500 over x, okay? And you can go to your calculator and you can try to solve that. Um, so tangent of uh, 20, make sure you're in degree mode, by the way. Uh, tangent of 20 is going to be about uh, 0.6397. Uh, is equal to 500 over x, okay? Notice we have x in the denominator here. You don't want x in the denominator. So either do this over one and, and cross multiply and solve your proportion, uh, or you can multiply both sides by x to get the x out of the denominator, and you're gonna end up uh, canceling your x's on the right. Um, we're gonna divide both sides by that decimal that was coming from the tangent of 20, okay? So 500 divided by the tangent of 20. And uh, it's going to tell us that this length here is about 1,300 feet, okay? It's going to be about 1,373.7 feet, okay? And by the way, this is not drawn to scale at all. I, I made this triangle almost look like a 30, 60, 90 triangle or a 45, 45, 90 or something like that. A 20 degree angle is actually pretty small. So actually that angle would probably be like coming in more like this. It's going to be a very long distance in comparison to the height. So, you know, always look at your answer and make sure it, it makes some kind of sense. Uh, we've got a 20 degree angle, it's opposite a shorter side. We've got a 70, it's opposite a much longer side. I think that answer makes sense, okay? So do always go back and just check and kind of make sure that the longest side's in the right place, the shortest side's in the right place, uh, that your numbers make sense. Typically, if you get the wrong trig rule, you're gonna pick up on that fact by going back and realizing that something doesn't seem right about your numbers. So uh, even drawing something a little bit more scale uh, than I drew here is kind of useful on those problems. So again, I cannot stress enough, draw that horizontal sight line in. Your angle of depression is your upper angle, which is the same as their angle of elevation upwards at you. I hope that helps.